Barack Obama seems to be having the time of his life, rubbing shoulders with celebrities, jet setting here and there, doing fundraisers, and uh, basically spending a lot of time on the road for what most people consider personal ventures. At the same time, 15 million people are out of jobs, and that's growing. Uh, foreclosures uh, of homes, people are losing their homes. The homeless population is greatly increasing. Banks are failing at a record pace. All the while, our president seems to be having a ball, but at taxpayer expense. Let me give you a few of, I have a long list here of items that you might want to consider as I go through. I'm just going to read a few of the items on, in, on my long list, which is found, by the way, on a commentary I've written that you can access at Rutherford.org. Uh, during his brief time in office, nine months, uh, President Obama, for example, has entertained NASCAR racers on the White House lawn. He's uh, jetted to Co Copenhagen to personally pitch for his home city, Chicago, uh, for the 2016 Olympics. He's jetted to New York City for a date night on the town with his wife. This was on the eve of General Motors declaring bankruptcy. He's enjoyed more rounds of golf in his nine months than many presidents enjoy in four years. Uh, he's gone on family vacations to the Grand Canyon to look down on a deep hole uh, to Martha's Vineyard. He's been on numerous television shows. He's visited more foreign countries than any president in the fir his first year of office that's ever set. And he's done some 30 uh, Democratic fundraisers in his first nine months, while at the same time Bush and Clinton before him uh, had five each, basically, fundraisers they had conducted. I understand that presidents have to do certain things, but the problem with a lot of what Obama's doing right now, and this has been criticized by left-wing, right-wing, independents, even Bill Maher, who's is basically as far left as you can get, has criticized Obama for doing these kind of things. My problem with a lot of this is that we're paying for it, and this is not what we elected the president to do. Just to operate Air Force One without Obama on the board on another flight with maybe a general on it, it cost over $100,000 just to operate. If Obama's on, the, on board, the price escalates. His armored vehicle has to be actually located and flown to wait on him to arrive. All the Secret Service agents on the plane, and Secret Service agents have to go ahead of him, they have to be fed and housed and all the things that happen around the president. In other words, these trips he's taking, like his date night trip to New York, cost taxpayers millions of dollars. This is not to say Obama's the only president that's done these kind of things. Remember Ronald Reagan used to fly across the country to chop wood at his ranch, which I disagree with. And Bush spent a lot of days at his ranch down in Texas, you know, with a chainsaw. And the press covered that like it was a joke. It's not a joke to me because, again, I don't elect a president to be on perpetual vacations and charging me for it. What do we need right now? I mean, it, it's, the country's in a mess. What do we need? I think we need a hardworking president that does one thing, and one thing only, stay at his desk. Think about this. If Dave Letterman wants to interview him, he's been on the Dave Letterman show, Jay Leno, he's been all over television, do you realize they'll come to the White House and it'll be brief and it won't cost us a cent? Dave Letterman will pay for it. What we need is Barack Obama to stay at his desk and get us back to work. Stop these banks from collapsing. Uh, if he's going to take trips, he should take trips to Peoria, to wherever he would want to go in the United States to, to make uh, some of these companies put people back to work. As far as the Democratic fundraisers, I think that's egregious. I don't think the president should be raising money for the Democratic Party. I did not elect him to do that, and I don't want to pay for the trips. If he's going to uh, raise money for anybody, he should raise money for the independents, the Republicans, and the Democrats because he represents all the people. But that's the point. He shouldn't be raising any money for anybody. The thing is that Barack Obama represents everybody. He represents the Republicans, the Democrats, the independents, the Tea Party protesters, and even the people who watch Fox News, which he has uh, currently a war with. So uh, what I'm trying to say here is that we have a president, it seems like he's president of the Democratic Party, and we don't need that right now. We need him uh, in Washington, hardworking, because our country's in a mess. So my plea to you, Mr. President, is get off the road, stop personal ventures and vacations, and get back to work and get this country upon its feet.